What's up guys, it's Moreni here and welcome to my first ever series on this channel. It's been some months since my last video, but now I'm back with a Let's Play series where I start a new four-man team. Here I will cover a possible way to create a four-man team which is strong, easy to play and able to defeat even most of the endgame dungeons. Yeah, you heard right. This series is all about PVM. Before we start with the team combination, I want to give you a short overview. All characters are on accounts of my main team. As you maybe know, when you start a new character on the same account, you get an multiplier for your XP. Because all my main characters are level 200, I will get at least 100% XP bonus. Second, this won't be a Iron Man series or something like that. Third, I will use the profession on my main accounts for crafting and matching the gear of the team. Fourth, no help from other players. And last, all gear I will use during this series I will link under the specific episode. So let's continue with the team. The team presentation I want to cover different categories. Difficulty, roles, low level spells until level 20 and the element I recommend for the early game. To start things off, I selected the Pandava class. In my opinion, a must have in every team. When you are a new player, the mechanic can be a little bit confusing because this class has the normal and the drunk state, but I think after a little bit of playing time, you can figure out how this will work. But the drunken state, I will cover later in this video. In the game, this class is listed as a positioner, damage dealer and tank. In early game, it's hard to place your opponents because you don't have much movement points, but it will carry you as soon as you have 5 to 6 MP. The tanking capability is very important in late game and not necessary at low level. When we look at the spells, we only have the bow tree as an earth attack spell which we can use without being drunk until level 20. That's also why I would recommend the earth element at the beginning. This spell costs only 3 AP, can be casted 2 times per turn which makes it your main damage spell for low levels. At level 3 you get the spell Terror, a spell which pushes enemies and allies by one cell, good for keeping the monster on distance. With Alcoholic Breath you get another pushback spell at level 6, which hits in the agility element. But for this you have to be in the drunk state. Another drunk state spell is Alkoshu. It steals water damage. At level 15 you finally get the iconic spell for this class. Karsham allows you to carry targets and throw the targets on the free cell. One of the best positioning spells in the game I think. In addition, when you carry one of the characters you deactivate the line of sight. This can be pretty handy if an enemy is hiding behind a wall or you're blocking the line of sight with your teammates. At level 20 you get the spell called Schnaps. This can be only casted in a diagonal lane, which makes it very ineffective if you don't have many movement points. For getting in the drunk state you have the spell Blowout. I don't like to use the spell because it removes 1 MP for 4 turns and especially at low level you don't have 
much MP, which makes you more like unmovable. A second member of the team, I picked the Kra class. Maybe one of the easiest classes because the gameplay is pretty straightforward and also a very good damage dealer, especially from range. Also exchanged the crowd with an IOP, but I decided to go for a range build team. When you are a new player, it's easier to hit from range. Besides the damage dealer, this class is listed as a deep buffer and buffer. The Kra has great abilities to rape movement and action points. Also on the way to level 200, you unlock different spells, which buffs your crits, damage and range. The Kra has a kind of positioning role too. Great pushback spells to keep enemies on distance. Start with two agility spells, I would recommend to go with that element in early game. With magic arrow, you have a nice 3 AP spell, which can be casted two times per turn, has good range and steals additional range from enemies. Retreated arrow pushes enemies back by two cells and inflicts air damage. Another pushback spell you get is this piercing arrow. This can be whether be casted on yourself or on an enemy to push two cells. First debuffing and fire damage spell is frozen arrow at level 3. You can rape up to 2 APs and inflict 10 to 12 fire damage. Burning Aerial, you get a very strong AoE fire damage spell. This spell creates damage in a line of 5 cells, which can help you to hit enemies through walls. At level 10, Distance Shooting is maybe the best support spell for a range based team. For 4 turns, you can increase your and your allies range by 2 within a circle of two cells, which helps you to keep the distance and hit from far away. The first water damage spell, Antonement Arrow inflicts more damage when you recast it every three turns. It's pretty good for late game. To debuff your opponent's range, you get Bad's Eye at level 20. In a circle of two cells, every enemy gets range reduced by 2 and invisible ones get revealed. And best range damage class for new players and therefore second class of my team. To protect my team the Fekker is my third choice. Like the Kra, a good class for new players because you have many options to lose damage taken by your team. Besides the protector role, this class is also listed as a tank and debuffer. Because all of the protection skills you can survive more hits than normal, which is very helpful at any point of the game. With different kind of spells you can remove AP, MP or range from enemies. Starting with the spell Natural Attack, which can be casted two times per turn, I would recommend the intelligence build at least until level 25 where you get Cloudy attack. Blindness removes up to 2 AP but can only be casted once per turn. And Rampart is your first defensive spell which reduces damage taken by your team in a circle of 3 cells. At level 3 you get Typhoon. The agility spell is a close combat spell and therefore not good for a ranged team. With Bubble you get at level 6 a very nice 2 AP water damage spell. Every turn this spell can be casted 3 times but only 2 times on the same target. Will be a good damage combination with Cloudy attack at level 25. To invulnerable a targeted ally for close combat damage you get Barricade at level 10. Very helpful if enemies come close and can save you in close situations. Aggressive Glyph is the first glyph you will get in the game. When an enemy starts this turn in this glyph, he will be attracted towards the middle. 
sometimes useful but not really necessary at early game in my opinion. At level 20 you get the second intelligence spell Lethargy. Inflicts good fire damage and removes up to 3 MP on a 2 to 3 range. Overall the Fekka class can sometimes save your ass in tricky situations and is one of my favorite classes in the game. To complete this series team I will pick the Eniripsa class. Also a pretty straightforward class with nice healing, buffing and debuffing capabilities. Especially the AP buffing aspect helps your team even on low level. Because I want a direct healing ability in my team I will go with the intelligence belt. Alternative word inflicts fire damage when you cast it on an enemy and when you cast it on an ally, it heals it. At early game, your vitality will be low and this helps you and your team to survive longer. Summoning a Kaoni with the spell Friendship Word gives your character 2 AP as long as the Kaoni is alive. In addition, you and your team ben benefit from heals. There's a spell called Summon Control which can be obtained by every class in the game. Thanks to Benjamite who explained how to get and use the spell. The link is also in the video description. As an agility spell you have Wounding Word straight from the beginning. When you inflict damage, 100% of the damage go as heals to your allies within two cells. Same technique for the chance spell Forbidden Word which you can get at level 3. At level 6 you get Frightening Word. It pushes the target by one cell and can be used twice per turn on the same target. Very good to unblock your way and hide an Elliot character behind a wall. With Stimulating Word you get a very powerful spell at level 10. Every turn you can boost the AP of an ally by 2 which lasts for 3 turns. With the Kaoni and the spell you can keep the base AP of your team at 8 at turn 3. More AP you can use, more damage you do. Sounds logical or? Brutal Word is the first earth damage spell at level 15. To be honest, I never tried a earth any rips in PVM and I don't think it's good because you can't benefit from the nice healing capabilities. At level 20 you get Word of Youth. Heals always 6% of the max health also removes one effect duration from the target. Can sometimes really really helpful. At the end of this video I quickly introduce you dofuslab.io. In my opinion the best tool to build sets for dofus. Benjamin did a fantastic video about this website which I will link you in the video description. He's much better than me in, in terms of explaining things, so big shout out to him again. So that's it for episode 0. If you're already hooked, please subscribe to the channel to not miss any videos. Thanks for watching and see you the next time.